morning i self-tanned yesterday so that's why i'm looking crazy every morning i like to plan my days out to have like a little bit more of a structured schedule just to feel a little bit more productive and like i'm doing something especially today it is more of a chill day so i want to feel like i'm getting things done but at the same time chilling and relaxing so I like to start every morning with just writing down like a little to-do list, what I have going on, just so I kind of have an idea of what my day is going to look like. I don't ever feel lost, I guess, if that makes sense. I have a little calendar planner thing that I got from Target. And I also like to go into a separate journal and kind of just write down what I'm feeling. I have a few little like journal prompts if you will that i like to go through and write down i try to do this every single morning because it just sets the whole tone for the day and i'm all about putting some good energy into the world especially in the morning it's nice to just set your intentions and to have a clear start a clear mind so yeah that's how i start my morning it's very calm and soothing this is a very much needed self-care day i haven't had one in a long long time so I'm excited so I have a little story time and then after I will show you how I self tanned even though you're probably looking at me and you're like I don't care because you suck listen I'm not the best but I try in my defense I haven't self tanned in a little bit so I'm a little rusty I feel like it's always a hit or miss it either looks super good or it looks super super bad so I guess we're going with super bad let's just rewind to yesterday you guys will never believe what the f I did. So the other day, actually yesterday, I planned on going to the gym and then to work. So I brought my skincare. Me being me, I brought literally my whole entire skincare bag filled with everything in it. And I forgot it at the gym. I could literally cry, but I'm trying to stay positive. I just feel so stupid. And the whole point of this video was to have a good self-care day, even though it's night. But, oh my god, I can't believe I did that. Anyways, I am going to show you how I self-tan. And I would start with face moisturizer. But I don't have any. <laughs> We're going to stay positive. <sighs> Fuck. Anyways, I'm going to show you how I do my self tan first things first grab yourself a towel this one is already stained so it's fine so what i'm using today is the loving tan in ultra dark because i love being dark but this one is the deluxe bronzing mousse and i really really like this one and i found that this one lasts so long i could literally get away with wearing it for like a week and a half i try when i keep up with it i try doing it like every week we'll see how that goes got it off of amazon and then i actually did also purchase their mitt and it's actually really good you can find so many cheaper ones this one was stupid expensive for a damn tanning mitt i also use like a dome little foundation brush for my hands my feet and my face i'll show you how i do that as well but that's pretty much all you need i'm going to start by moisturizing i'm going in with this one i don't know what brand this is but it's eucalyptus mint and it smells really good even though you are supposed to use like unfragranced lotions i don't have one on me so we're just gonna go in with this one this is gonna get weird really quick my wrists my elbows I'm gonna do my knees like the back of my knee because that area gets a little crusty. I feel like this is kind of self-explanatory, but we're just gonna dive right into it. Okay, so my whole body is covered. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm definitely already feeling so much bronze. I forgot how much self-tan can lift your ego a little bit. For my hands, basically, I just start at like the wrist and I literally just blend it out. I like doing like a little bear claw 
getting all up in those cracks so when it comes to my face i literally just apply it as if i'm applying foundation i look crazy but i love it to be honest the self tanner on my face doesn't ever last because i'm obviously washing my face more than my body obviously i take showers but you know I promise when I wash it off tomorrow, it won't be looking this rough. I promise. When it comes to my feet, I literally do the same exact thing that I did with my hands. I just use the little brush, I do the bear claw, I get up in there, and I get my heel really good. I'm not going to show you. Sorry, but that is weird. But yeah, that is my tanning routine. Let's jump back into future JC. I have never rushed so fast in my life. I feel like I look like poop. I was running late for my damn nail appointment. I made it really early. I didn't, I mean, I made it for 12. It's 1130. I'm at Starbucks, so I might be a little bit late. I'm so excited to get my nails done. I haven't had them done in a hot minute, so I'm going to feel so luxurious. I'm going to feel so bougie with my little nails. Nail salon, here we come. Let's do a little before, shall we? These look like asshole. just got back from the nail salon she freaking killed it this is exactly what I wanted I feel like a brand new bitch again I'm ready to like touch everything like it's not only did we get our nails done we got chick-fil-a talk about some self-care I just got chicken nuggets cuz I was craving chicken nuggets and my camera's going to die damn chick-fil-a hits the spot man I know self-care most of the time means like healthy and blah 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 but for me self-care means enjoying myself and that means eating the food i love i'm all about balance so here we are <clears throat> i also want to get pictures today when don't i i think taking pictures is like a personality trait or something we're gonna take some pictures i don't know where yet i brought my tripod just in case i brought my clicker so we can take them by myself Oh my god. Their diet lemonade, so good. The best drink ever. One thing I love to do is find cute steps and take pictures with it. Yo, shout out to this clicker. We can get some candids without taking a video and having to screenshot it. They look pretty good, Hey, hey. Listen, I'll do anything for a good picture. But it is so f***ing cold outside, even though I'm killing it. Oh my god, someone's coming in here. Oh my god. Look at me being productive and shit. I've been home for a few hours now. I've just been editing my Instagram pictures. That turned out really well. But now it's time to do the wash that I have been dreading for a long time. I just got done with the dentist and let me tell you first of all I didn't even know I had a dentist appointment today that was fun my teeth feel so weird I absolutely hate 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 the dentist and they messed up my the other day I was on Pinterest as I always am late at night you know Pinteresting out my life and I was looking at tattoos and I am just itching for a few new ones. So I texted the only person that ever does spontaneous things with me, AKA my sister, Alyssa Raider. She is always down to do things and I love her because I don't have friends. So if it wasn't for her, I would be going alone because as soon as I decide that I wanna do something, I need to do it right then and there. And I'm so excited. I know exactly what I'm going to get. I'm not gonna show you guys until the deed is done. Let's go get a tattoo. That's what's always hard for me. I get hooked on like the same way of doing it. Up 
Probably broke your heart the moment we met Don't you understand the way I move is not a flip It got really late, really quick And me and Alyssa were starving So we got some Chinese food And it was the best Chinese food I've ever had in my entire life And their menus were so freaking cute They were like all in Chinese and shit What we're not gonna do is talk about my messy little bed back there we're just gonna talk about the little tattoos that I got. I'll insert a video of Alyssa's. I completely messed up and forgot to record hers. So I asked her to send me a video of her tattoos. So number one is this cloud. And to be honest, yes, it was inspired by Ariana Grande, but I don't know, I've always loved cloud tattoos. Nothing crazy meaningful, but it goes with my son. I also got a lightning bolt because again, I've always wanted a lightning bolt. And it goes with the whole mother nature kind of theme on my hands. If you're not with finger tattoos, I totally get it. You know what, don't judge me my body, my choices. Anyways, moving on to the last one because I got three. I got this one and it says breathe. It's kind of swollen. This one hurt a lot. Does this. My hand is so blown up right now. And honestly, I got this because it's just a daily reminder when I'm doing my skincare or doing my hair to breathe, bitch. Not all my tattoos have super deep meanings, but that's okay. So I just got back from the mall and I thought it was only right to include a little haul for you guys because this is a self-care vlog and spending money is like a form of therapy. I am looking so rough right now. It is about time I take off my makeup. I literally left for the mall around like 3 o'clock and it's now 9.20 at night. So yeah, I'm going to give you a quick little haul and then we are going to end this night with even more self-care. But it was such a good day and I'm so excited to show you guys what I got even though I didn't get that much. But my bank account is 100% hurting. So the first place that I went to was Zara because honestly, I've been wanting to shop around there for a little bit now. I have been looking like online at their stuff and I'm just very indecisive. So actually seeing things in person helped me make my decisions so much easier. So the first thing is this cute little cropped shirt and it's like seamless. It's super freaking stretchy. I feel like this could be like an active wear top. I wouldn't wear it to the gym, but it's so cute. It's like a nude cream, even though it does kind of look like it has like a green tint to it. I don't know, it's super cute. And I'm so excited because I really wanna like redo my wardrobe and get more of like the neutrals in my color palette. So I'm so excited to wear this. Okay, so I was really indecisive about this top and I didn't know exactly how I would wear this. But again, I really love the color. So I got this like sweatshirt material crop top and it has like the ruching at the bottom, which I thought was super, super cute. So I got this as well. And I just love this color. It's like a dusty rose pink. The last thing that I got from Zara were these pants. I have been literally looking for like this color pant forever. And I just haven't found like the perfect style and color, but I saw these and they had my size. So I had to pick them up. They're literally just like straight leg pants. I'm so excited to wear these pants. I just think they're so cute and different. It's something so little, but I think it's going to like make an outfit just like look 10 times better. You know what I mean? So the next place that I went to was Timberland because I've been looking for like a good boot. I have like booties. Well, I only have one pair of booties and I wanted like a good pair of boots that I can wear like in all kind of weather considering I live in Pennsylvania. So I decided to go to Timberland because I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of like Doc Martens. I don't know, I'm very picky when it comes to shoes. So we just went with Timberlands even though they were so expensive. They're literally so basic. They're like the classic Tims, but I just love how matte black they are and I'm so excited. You can dress them up, dress them down, but they're super comfortable. I actually wore these around at the mall. Like I just wanted to wear them. So I put them on. It's the matte black for me. I really like them and I'm so excited to wear these. Oh my God. I just, I want to put together so many outfits with these. And then lastly, I went to Urban Outfitters because I love Urban Outfitters. So the first thing that I got was actually this wildflower phone case. And to be honest, I wasn't going to get a phone case, but it was on sale. It's super cute. It's just cow print and I love the feeling of it. It just feels, 
high quality. You know, I don't know. And then I picked up these super cute sunglasses. I have been looking for like a nude color pair. So I picked these ones up and they're like marble kind of. They were super cute. I was so, I'm so indecisive when I'm shopping. Oh my God. It's like an all nude outfit. Yes. Thank you, next. Oh my God, I'm so excited about this. So I've been seeing so many people talk about the five minute journal. So I had to get one. I am all about journaling. I'm all about writing everything down and just taking time to myself. There was no question about this because I've been seeing it everywhere. I had to freaking get it. I'm so excited. I'm definitely going to write in it tonight. It's just something that I'm actually going to incorporate into my daily life. So I knew it wasn't going to be a waste of money. Like, so for the morning, it has a little section for three things you're grateful for, what would make today great, daily affirmations, and then at nighttime, it has a slot for three amazing things that happened today. How could I have made today even better? And I don't know, it's just so cute. And I love how it's like written out for you. So I don't know, I'm super excited about this. And then I got this top and it is so cute. I was with my friend today and she told me that I had to get it to go with my pair of jeans. So I think it's so cute. It's like cream and I don't know what you would call this material, like knit kind of, I don't know. And I'm not sure if you're supposed to wear it like off the shoulder or on the shoulder. I guess it could go like both ways, but it's so freaking cute. And it was like the last one. So it was like a sign or something. The last thing I just got this little clip because I've been obsessed with like putting my hair up and clipping it and it's just a trendy thing to do. So I wanted this one so bad and it's like that glass marble looking thing. So I picked it up and to be honest, it was in the to-go section. Like, you know, when you're checking out and there's like all those goodies, I was like, oh, that's really cute. So I took it. So I decided to do a little try on for you guys because I was curious as well. These jeans fit so good and I was so nervous because they come in like the 36 sizing and I have no idea how that even works, but these fit so well. They don't make my ass like go completely flat and they're cute. Oh my God, I love these so much. They're like the perfect straight, not too baggy, but not too tight. Oh my God, I like these a lot. The color is everything, a 10 out of 10. To be honest, I am not really liking this top at all. Uh, it's all right. No, I don't like it at all. I feel like a like I should be playing freaking football or something. It's a zero out of 10. I'm gonna have to return it. Oh, okay. This is really, really cute. I think it would be a lot. Oh, yep. It's super stretchy, comfortable. I don't feel like restricted. I can move. Penny, if you're watching this, this outfit does look really cute together. With the tan. <laughs> so moving on to my favorite part of the night, taking off my makeup. My favorite thing to use to take off my makeup is this Pond's Cold Cream Makeup Remover. It's like a cream and it literally just melts off my makeup. This is going to get really ugly really quick. Literally in the past, I used to wash my face like five times just to take my makeup off until I got this product. I believe I got it at like Target or something like that. And then to actually wash my face, I've really been loving the CeraVe Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser. I mentioned this in my last video. Obviously I did a whole skincare haul, but I've been really, really enjoying this. I can definitely feel a difference between using the hydrating and the one that's for more oily skin. This just leaves my skin super, super soft and the moisture is still there. There. I definitely recommend this face wash if you have drier skin. I got a whole bunch of serums and I've been playing around with them and I think I found a miracle. So the first thing that I go in with is the hyaluronic acid. I love this stuff. It's literally like water for your face. I just like putting this on immediately after I wash my face because my face always just needs hydration. This is so good. And then I have two exfoliating treatments, I guess you could call them. I have the toning solution by The Ordinary and then I also have their retinol serum. I don't use them both at the same time. I use one one night and then one the other night and then I give my skin like a break between. So I think tonight since I was wearing makeup, I might go in with this just to make sure like everything is really off my skin. I'm pretty sure these two basically do the same thing. Honestly, I don't know that much, but 
what I do know is this one is going to help take away like dead skin cells and stuff like that like over time basically I don't know you guys gotta watch Hyron he is amazing so I'm just going to take a little cotton round fill it all up I wish I knew more about exactly what I'm using I feel like I'm not giving the best explanations And then last but not least, moisturizer. I have been loving the Ultra Repair Cream by First Aid Beauty. And to be honest, it is so, so thick, but my skin is so dry, it soaks it up in like five seconds. So, I don't know, it's amazing. I use this pretty much night and morning just cause my skin loves it. And I think this has been helping with my texture. If I'm gonna be completely honest, my skin literally feels like a baby's but after using this, I am obsessed with it. Oh my God, I wanted to do a face mask. Too late. But when I'm feeling super, super extra at the end of my whole skincare routine, I love taking a jade roller and just rolling my face. It feels so good and it's super cooling and it's supposed to give you like a contoured face. Does it really work? I don't think so. It's so calming. I love it so, so much. I literally cannot go to bed without starting my diffuser. It is my favorite thing, just so calming. I have lavender in there right now and it smells amazing. Literally look forward to starting my diffuser, getting into my bed, and now I get to incorporate my five minute journal this diffuser is from amazon it's so freaking cute and this thing lasts i started it now it's like 10 o'clock and it will literally go until like 3 p.m tomorrow i do turn it off just because i don't want it on that long but it lasts all night long and i love waking up and it's still going lighting is so messed up right now because i have my nightlight on over here and then i have my diffuser going on over there but i just changed into my cute little pajamas i absolutely love pajama sets this is from victoria's secret that my sister got for us for christmas like three years ago now i'm going to right in my five minute journal. I'm so excited about this. Love just sitting down and writing. It's like my favorite thing to do, especially when it comes to like manifesting and just speaking things into existence. I've also been incorporating into like my nighttime routine is CBD oil. This is by Prism CBD and it's in the vanilla flavor. And honestly, I have noticed a huge difference with just sleeping throughout the night and feeling a little bit more calm and not so restless and just thinking about everything. Literally all you do is drop it underneath your tongue, hold it there for like 30 seconds and you're good to go. I've been obsessed with them. I use them every single night before bed and sometimes even in the morning if I'm feeling like a little bit anxious. Definitely recommend some CBD if you have trouble going to bed or just staying asleep during the night. And this one you can hardly taste like any flavor and they also don't upset my stomach which is a good thing. That's one thing that I was really worried about but I absolutely love this. So I think I'm going to end this vlog here thank you so so much for watching if you enjoyed definitely subscribe and like this video it would mean so much to me but good night guys i'll see you in my next video